Hi everyone, welcome back to Holly's Design. I've got a chest of drawers for you today. It's a Liebus chest of drawers, which is quite a nice brand. It's got good bones to it, so it should be quite a nice solid piece. However, it has a lot of paint on it. It appears to have been three different colours at any given time. It's got white paint on it, purple underneath all of it, and uh, a little bit of teal blue on the frame. So we're going to get to work stripping all of that off and we're aiming for a really nice soft chalky finish with a distressed effect which I think is going to suit this really beautifully. So I'm going to remove all of the little handles and start sanding all of the paint off the fronts of the drawers. Okay, so I gotta change the battery, but I'm gonna show you what's coming through underneath. <laughs> Both paint colors are coming off. So this is with 40 grit, so we will go back over and smooth it with a much higher grit sandpaper. Oh my god, okay, paint removed from drawer number one. <laughs> one down, three to go. I'd probably say please hit subscribe so that I can get monetized and buy myself a orbital sander. Yeah. <laughs> please. <laughs> Are you just chilling? In your jumper? Hi. Hi. So once Hero left me alone, I went over the whole piece with my 40 grit sandpaper just to break the sort of edges on the piece. And then after that went in by hand with my blade paint stripper. Super handy for getting high volumes of paint off and creating a smooth surface. The next job was to clean up the handles, so I did my usual mix of 50% boiling water, 50% extra strength white vinegar. I boiled the handles for half an hour, and then I scrubbed them in a sink with some cream cleaner. Once I finally finished stripping the paint off, I set up my paint sprayer. I applied a coat of primer to the whole piece, including the inside. It just gave it a really nice, smart finish and prevented any possible bleed through from the remaining colour. Once it was completely dry, I sanded off any little drips and made sure it was a great smooth surface before I got ready to paint. This beautiful powdery blue is the colour Louis Blue from Annie Sloan Chalk Paint. 
I'm going for quite a thick rustic finish here which is great if you're going to then sand back and distress after painting. You will however also see me thinning it slightly with my mister bottle. That is partly for ease of application and partly because I bought this paint second hand from a friend of mine who had an open tin in her garage so it had thickened up quite a lot. So I ended up applying three coats of paint to the frame of the piece and then I mixed up quite a thick white wash using some French Eek wedding cake that I had left over at the bottom of a tin. I applied that to the fronts and the sides of the drawers before wiping it back to achieve that really pretty weathered look. I tend to work just a small section at a time when I'm whitewashing because I need to make sure that that layer of watered down paint that I'm applying doesn't dry too much. Having masking taped the back of the piece, I managed to get a really nice professional looking seam around the back. I tried to get some nice tape pull footage for you guys, but Hero had his squeaky dinosaur, so. This is clear wax from Dixie Belle. It looks kind of white, but it's actually not when you apply it. So I'm just gonna brush this and then buff it off onto the fronts of all of the drawers. I'm then going to take our beautifully clean handles and reattach them to all the drawers. Here I just have a little piece of 120 grit sandpaper which I'm using to distress the edges. Finally, I'm going back in with the Dixie Bell wax over the whole frame. Hey, pretty. Say hello to YouTube and your towel. <laughs> it's not on, is it? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to count that bit. So you can put a filter on me. Yeah. Make you look really tanned and like. <laughs> Basically, not like some dork who's just been on a bicycle. <laughs> Oh, 
With all the wax fully buffed off and the drawers back in place, it's time for a quick glance at where we started. And this is the finished result. I love the pretty blue against the weathered whitewashed look. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd really like to hear your opinions on the distressing. I know it sometimes divides people. And thanks so much for watching. Tune in next time and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks!